Right, how are you doing backers? Okay, um, today's recipe we'll be doing uh, some uh, cheese and Worcester sauce scones. Okay. Right, so okay, so uh, the ingredients we need are 75 uh, grams of uh, butter cubes, um, 350 grams of self-raising flour, some uh, Worcester sauce of course, um, 75 grams of, uh, che of grated cheese and half a tablespoon of um, baking powder okay and um, 150 grams of milk and um, two uh, beaten eggs okay before you I start uh, the process what I'm going to do is um, co uh, coordinate the uh, uh, five uh, tablespoons of uh, Worcester sauce into uh, with uh, the grated cheese. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is um what I'm gonna do gonna do now is I'm going to uh stir it up uh, mix it all in until all of the grated cheese is um is soaked in the Worcester sauce. Okay, next I'm uh, going to sieve in um, into the bowl with the butter for flour. Now the purpose of a uh, sieving is um, if you just put it in there there is going to be a danger that there are going to be weevils that feed that are small beetle type uh, insects um, that feed on the flower and also to leave out any uh, irregularities like uh, lumps and if you sieve it uh, it filters all the safe flower and um, it filters out all the lumps. See that there's some lumps in there. Okay. So next, what you want to do is, um, of course, uh, Make sure you have uh, cool hands, uh, otherwise uh, the butter will start melting because um, likely you've got warm hands, so. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm gonna run it through my fingers like so. And um, you've got to do this uh, until until uh, the mixture resembles uh, fine breadcrumbs. Right, next you need to uh, then add in the cheese.
Okay, and um, just keep continuing with the same process until that has become like fun breadcrumbs as well. And um, this is the consistency you're looking for. Right, okay, so what you want to do next is uh, in the middle of your mixture, you want to make a well, right? Like so. Okay. And um, what you want to be doing next is um, pour 75 uh, millilitres of uh, the milk into your mixture. What I tend to do is um, see until it gets to right to that point to empty. And all but Or about four tablespoons of the egg. You're going to need the remainder for that for later on. Okay, so really, it, uh, it says in the instructions. But um, you need a palette knife, but we uh, haven't got one, so we're going to have to make do with a spatula. So, right, okay, what I'm doing is um, I'm stirring it in. I want the cons what you need the consi for consistency to be is um, not too sticky. Okay. Okay, let's not waste any of any of the mixture.
Okay, this is the consistency you want for it to come together. Okay, so the dough is uh, it's ready to be taken out and kneaded. Uh, and if you need to do so, knead it. Okay, what you need next is a greased uh, baking tin and a cutter. So, um, what I'm going to do now is um, the fun part cut them out like so. Right, so you don't want any waste, so usually I uh, put the flour back together, put I mean put the dough back together. If you run out of space, so Right, so this is where the remainder of the egg yolk, uh, the eggs come into handy. So, what you need to do, because eggs are the rising agent, just uh, paint it like so. with a pastry brush right, the next thing you need to do is um, draw a cross, a deep cross on each and every one of them. Right, and uh, what you want to do next is uh, sprinkle each 
of raw scone with cheese. Top it all off with cheese anyway. Well, you get the picture. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sprinkle the cheese on top with, of course, some Worcester sauce. Okay, so you then slam them in the oven for round about 10 minutes or until it has got a golden crisp, a golden top, not crispy, it's excuse my French because it's gone, should be soft. 10 minutes. Right, I forgot to add that. The oven should be uh, preheated to 220 uh, if uh, an electric oven or 200 if it's fan assisted and uh, gas mark 7 uh, for gas ovens. Right, um, you continue the same thing until there is no dough left. Uh, because um, it really doesn't make sense uh, to waste them. And also, if, but if all else fails, you can always put it in the fridge for next time you want to make some scones. Well, what I always do when making scones is um, I uh, make a ball so that um, I'll, when I uh, I finally can't cut anymore so that I can uh, taste my own result. Okay, uh, here's the, the, the end result. Right, what I'm going to do now is uh, put them on a uh, cooling rack. to uh, cool off you've got to be careful with the tray because it because inevitably it is going to be red hot and um, you don't want to be burning yourself because that will be nasty that Okay, so I hope you enjoyed uh, <clears throat> my lesson on uh, how to cook cheese and Worcester scones. Okay, thank you all for watching and uh, please do subscribe to this and uh, press the notification bell for more recipes. And uh, also don't forget to comment and um, if you like, uh, suggest a, another thing I should try cooking and um, I'll look it up on the internet. And also, if, you're, if you have autism and, um, or you're, you want to learn how to cook or, a bit, or both, do remember, I have your back. <laughs>